Hello, finally Friday, and uh, today we have a job, yeah? This is a weird one, okay, maybe you'll have this problem before. Do you see anything wrong with this laptop? I'll check here. Huh? Let me take out the charger, yeah? Let me unplug the charger. <laughs> you see how the backlight is, is, is going? Initially, they replace three screens. My colleague Christian replaced three screens because he thought, you know, it's the screen. No, it's not the screen. It's not the screen. It's not the ribbon cable. You can move the screen around. It's, it's not. It's not. This is a problem which is probably from uh, your startup chip, from Super IO. Necessary. So from there you have the brightness and the uh, and, uh, light on off. Can be can be one of those signals or the 19 volts which is coming from the motherboard okay so that's the issue so soon as you plug the charger plugging back the charger and everything is fine yeah taking out the charger and the backlight it's funny okay so let's replay let's fix this quickly quickly Uh, let me ask about the touchpad. Okay, so the touchpad is not working for some reason, but the backlight is doing the same thing. Let's open and check some voltages on the screen, okay? Now, I had a very bad experience yesterday, yeah? You remember the story with the uh, NVIDIA 3080 graphic card? Diana was trying to buy it, she couldn't buy it. Well, yesterday I said, you know, I will help you. And uh, 2 o'clock, they launched the card. And Diana, she was home, and I was here. And I tried to buy it, she was trying to buy it. And guess what, you know, no one from us both the, the graphic card so I add the graphic card on three different tabs from my computer and Diana like for four tabs she added on the on card and press the checkout button it didn't work even on my one pressing the checkout and was stuck on the checkout uh, window no we couldn't buy it and now the graphic card the graphic card is selling for around three thousand pounds on eBay crazy people Crazy. And you know what? You'll think, just just look on the sold items. You'll think no one is buying that graphic card for £3,000. You're wrong. A lot of people are buying. Because there, you know, are YouTube channels doing overclocking, doing co computer building, doing reviews. You know, they are buying because they are they are taking the money out from the video anyway. So yeah, that's how this dark side of the market is uh, is running. They are buying. Probably they are using bots or something. I can't explain. You know, we are. So we try from two different computers, two different IP address, two different locations to buy a graphic card and couldn't do it crazy okay that's the way how the Christian is it's it's uh, replacing a screen on a laptop so the screen has, has no screw apart from one yeah he, he used one screw I can't believe that's dodgy It's not for a customer, this is a Christian friend, but still, you know, it's, it's dodgy. I think he's do more dodgy than me. So we have the screen, we have nothing, we have no schematics, we, we don't know nothing about the screen. But let's figure it out. Everything, yeah? Let's take this. And try to find out the voltage, what we need, yeah? I should take out the battery first before playing with uh, with that connector. So the battery is out. Mm 
Now we can take out the connector. Okay, that's the screen. Okay. Let's plug the screen. Uh, yeah, I think we have some test points on the on the screen so we can see exactly what's going on there. The screen is plugged in. Let's plug the charger. Oh, we can't plug it. We have to test with the battery. Because with the charger it's working. Okay, let's plug back the battery. I'm more scared playing with the battery instead of the charger, you know? It looks more dangerous. Microscope. Let's see if we can power up the laptop. The laptop is on. You see on the startup sequence, it's fine. It's loading up the windows. And now... The screen is flickering, you have the backlight. And you can see the backlight is it, flickering. So let's check some voltages. So here we have the inverter chip. And what do we have here? Uh, we don't have... Okay. So we have V out, V led in. It's not much to check. Oh, it is. It is too, too much to check, but... We have to figure it out by, by ourselves, yeah? So V led, that's 19, yeah? And this should be... Well, it's not 90, it's 19 when you plug the charger. Yeah, when you plug the charger, this is the main power rail, it is 19. Now it's 11. 11, 10 volts. But you know what? The voltage is changing. Let's try a trick, yeah? You can come with the power supply and supply power. And let's see if the, the voltage is stable. But you can't see like that. Yeah, let's, let me switch. So the light is flickering. Power supply. Ground. And it's doing the same thing. You see it's taking like 300 milliamps. So now I'm coming with the power supply on the main power rail. So it, the problem is not there. So the input voltage is fine. Now all what we have to do is to find the power on signal and the dim signal. And how we can know? We don't. But now here is the output. You can see clearly. Eh? Here is the inverter. You can see the coil, blah, blah, blah. So the input has to be here. And from here we have what trucks do we have? Just follow the trucks, yeah? We have this truck, yeah? 0 0.9 volt, 0 0.7, 0 0.1 volt, 1 point... It's changing, you can see on the multimeter on the screen. We have another truck here. This is 3 volts and it's stable, you can see. So... I'm guessing, I will bet on this one, uh, what do you think? But I will not come with the voltage here, maybe I will come here. What do we have here? Same story. So let's do a short, yeah? Let's create a short. 
So the screen is still flickering. I will do a short between this truck and this truck, yeah? This one and this one. So check check the, how is the backlight, yeah? Now without. Now wait. You can see? So that's the catch. That's the that's the problem with um, with this kind of fold. Actually, it's not worth to try to fix original problem because the ninety nine percent of the case, yeah, you'll find out the problem is related with the super I or your startup chip, yeah, and it's no even point going there because the repair will, will go extremely high. Okay, so let's do quickly, quickly, let's do a jumper. I will just power up the laptop. Power off, yeah. So where we are doing jumper, we are doing jumper between the dim signal, yeah, and the power on signal. Which one it is, I don't know. And I don't care. Okay. So what I will do, I will use the stable 3.3, this, yeah. And I will carry a voltage here, yeah, because this is not stable. I don't know what is this. Can be power on, can be the, uh, the pin which you can adjust the brightness. Yes, probably the laptop, you cannot adjust the brightness anymore, but... You know, it's a good uh, compromise, let's say like that, compromise. So from here to here. Keep in mind, you still have uh, main power really still present. So here I can afford doing shorts. But you still have voltage on, uh, on the main power rail, yeah? It's better to take everything out. To work without power, yeah? Yeah, the wire is out. Now let's test. Let's do a test. So what do you think? The bag light is stable. Yeah, we can plug the charger. Let me plug the charger. Charger is plugged. Still fine. Taking out the charger. Still fine. Let's check the... To lower the brightness one second. Yeah, nothing happened. You can't see on the screen. So you cannot adjust the brightness anymore. So the screen is on full brightness, but it's just, you know, it's, it's just a compromise. Even if you give to customer to choose, look, I can charge you that much and it will be a lot to replace your Super I.O. Or I can charge a little because I can modify, you don't have, uh, you cannot adjust the brightness, but you have a working screen. Obviously, he will choose the cheapest version, uh, the cheapest option. This is not so ch such a new laptop, so it's no point doing anything more on this. Okay. So keep in mind, you know, just use a logical approach, like we use, like I use. You see that it's a chip, just check for the trucks which are going from that chip. Like, you know, it's clearly, you can see this is the output to the LED. 
clearly you can see here the up you have the coil and the thingy and on the down uh, on the downside you have low power resistor and you can see two trucks on the end and obviously most likely that that's that's the that's the trucks what you are looking to check okay so now I'll take out the battery because I'll take out the connector and I'll make it back so you have to take out the power this is like a must take out the power before unplugging the screen I will show you so even if I power up the power of the laptop now the laptop is off if I take the multimeter and I check the voltage V in you have the main power rail here which on now is like 9 volts but if I plug the charger is 19 so now the charger is plugged so check that now it's 16 16 I have no idea why this power rail is 16 because the charger is 19 The charger is 19. Possible to have a switch. So, possible this voltage to go through a transistor on the motherboard who can, can switch off these 19 volts. Because otherwise, I can't explain why we here we have only 15 with the charger plugged in. If I unplug the charger. 8.6 let's power up the laptop let's check the voltage now the backlight is on you can see and now the voltage without the charger is 15 yes yeah, so the charger is not plugged in and is 15 and with the charger with the charger we have 23 volts what how this is possible this is the input not the output on the output you have around 40 volts 32 volts 23 so most likely this power rail is connected to another power supply or a MOSFET or something which is switching the voltage. It's working, I can take out the charger, it's still working. I don't really care to find out about that voltage because that's not the problem. That inverter it will work fine even with lower voltage. The problem was uh, flickering voltage there which was on the Brian spin which is coming from the super IO okay so thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one I think we have few jobs more okay bye